let's welcome one more reader. Please welcome the organizer of Manifest and the Speakeasy Open Mic, Christian Collier. Greetings and salutations. Surprise me, surprise me, Jim. So this is a new poem. Some summer nights I listen to the sounds of downtown reaching in through the mouth of my open bedroom window. The music of shouting drunks, the bay of police car sirens, the faint drone of music, 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 and I can't help but think about you and how I made an art out of lulling my tongue to sleep to avoid saying how I truly felt. Some summer nights I find myself fighting back the urge to call you to claw my way into the life and love you have now and confess that I have prayed that I could erase every kiss that ever met my lips before yours. Sometimes I've been flooded by the desire just to hear your voice and the gentle notes of your northern accent serenading me on the other end of the phone. Some summer nights I Awaken to the soft sound of the gulf, sighing as its waves bob and bend towards the auburn belly of the shore. And I can still taste the salt on your skin. And I can still feel the pull of the tide on my hips. And I can still see the quarter moon peering down intently upon us. These are the memories that still live inside me. They are still fastened to the rounds of my lungs. Some summer nights I want to shout up at the acne face of the ceiling of my bedroom that I miss you, that I wish you were here with your bright smile beaming down upon me. Some summer nights I am reminded that it is the love that you cannot have or hold on to, the love that you cannot pin down or savor, the love that never intended to stay that haunts you the most. And there is not enough age for Cardi, our boisterous drunks, our music emanating from the clubs downtown to make me forget to strip you away from me. And I know that you have moved on, have moved beyond the indigo sky summer nights where we salsa danced in South Florida. But I am still possessed from time to time by you and all of the thousands of words I buried in the back of my throat that all had to do with love. 